As we check out the tropics, I want to talk to you about a few things. We'll talk water temperatures here in just a moment, but I wanted to start off this update with a look at the wave heights and how some of the highest seas that we're seeing right now in the Atlantic Basin are associated with not a tropical system, but a non-tropical area of low pressure, which is offshore. That has created some rough waves and some uh, higher heights there that have been pushing towards the coast. We do have small craft advisories up for the bay and the ocean. You'll notice how this kind of drifts along, though, some of those wave heights uh, in excess of 20 feet. That's well offshore between Bermuda and, say, New New York. That's where you're getting some of those higher gusts or higher wave heights. Now, in the tropical, the Caribbean, and back across the uh, basin there out west of or out to the east of San Juan and Puerto Rico, the Windward Islands, you get a little bit of height there, but nothing that's really ramping up around an intense developing system. Keep that in mind because we're going to come back to the tropics in two areas we're watching. The bottom line is the models do not go crazy with the development of those systems. As we take a look here at our local waters, a quick reminder, small craft want to stay in port. We've got advisories up for the bay and the ocean. The waves in the bay only three to four feet, but we do have six to eight footers with occasional nine footers. there just east of Virginia Beach, so it is rough, and the winds have been gusting up to about 25 knots. Now the more traditional tropical tracking that we like to do. Next name on the list, Nadine. You know, we're looking at two systems. One has such a low chance of development. I don't think it's going to happen, but the next name would be Oscar after Nadine. Let's take a look at those water temperatures, though. As I mentioned, we do have water temperatures above 80 degrees. That is the critical water temperature, sea surface temperature, to support the development of tropical systems or for those systems to maintain strength. When it's below 80, they have a hard time. They sometimes lose some of their intensity. When it's above 80, this is providing a lot of fuel for potential development. So you see there is that chance around the Caribbean, certainly, but for the Antilles, the greater Antilles here, Cuba, back over to Hispaniola and Puerto Rico, we're watching these water temperatures quite warm and just off to the north of that out to the west, you've got temperatures low to mid 80s as well. In the Gulf of Mexico, it's a little bit cooler, but still there's some warmth over the southern Gulf of Mexico. Let's talk about our two areas. This one here, there is a chance of development. Chances are actually way up from where it was, but it's so close to Central America, this area of concern. It could become Nadine before producing heavy rain as it moves into Central America, perhaps Southern Mexico. Maybe it doesn't. I think either way, it's going to be a big rainmaker for that area. We do have winds kind of blowing across the area just coming in from the west-southwest, and there's this frontal boundary here that's stalled. These winds are going to make it more difficult for this area to get better organized as this works to the east and encounters some of that shear. Even though the water temperatures are so warm, it doesn't look like this is going to develop. The Hurricane Center only gives this now a 10% chance of development. So we'll still watch it. Again, there's that frontal boundary, and that's going to help protect Florida. But there's a chance this could continue off to the west. And if those winds ease, maybe there's a little bit greater chance of development. Right now, though, only 10%. This is the area more likely to produce some headaches for folks in Central America. Again, you can see uh, Belize and some of the other areas uh, there, maybe back across the southern Gulf of Mexico F. This continues to work off to the west as it's expected to. So some rain down for Central America. We'll watch to see if that becomes Nadine. Aside from that, things not looking too bad in the tropics. No threats to Hampton Roads. And right now the Gulf Coast area looks good as well. We'll keep you updated.